So this is Ned the Knitting Pirate by Diana Murray, illustrated by Leslie Lamel. Uh, this is, I believe, from... Oh, here's our... There we go. I wanted to sit somewhere I wouldn't have a lot of page glare. But this is the frontispiece of Ned the Knitting Pirate. And this is from Roaring Book Press in New York. So, we have Ned the Knitting Pirate. A little mermaid. This is fun. Okay. So let me get in my, my reading position here. Okay, boys and girls. Here we go. Listen to the legend of the crew that sailed the deep aboard a tattered pirate ship they called the Rusty Heap. The pirates were a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And as they swabbed the deck one day, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates, sailing on the sea. So scruffy and scrappy and happy are we. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we ho and we swab and we... Ooh. Knit! The whole crew turned and stared at Ned. The ship was deadly quiet. Yar, said Ned. I likes to knit. You might too if you try it. The captain stopped his wooden leg. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. They sailed on to an island where the crew began to dig. And when they found a treasure chest, they sang and danced a jig. We're pirates, we're pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We ain't scared of nothing, not one little bit. We heave and we ho and we dig and we knit. The crew was all in stitches, but the captain's nerves were frayed. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit this happy custom made. The captain shook his golden hook. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. The pirates brought the chest aboard and counted each doubloon and then cooked a batch of squid ink soup and sang another tune. We're pirates, we're pirates, out sailing on the sea, as scary and hairy as any could be. We're grouchy and slouchy, we don't ever quit. We slurp and we burp and we gulp and we knit. The captain got so mad he turned as red as lobster stew. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit, and that be what I do. The captain stomped and shook his hook. I'll not have knitting talk. You'd best not knit another stitch, or down the blank you'll walk. So Ned went sadly to his bunk and stowed his hat away. He packed his needles, balls of yarn, and skull trim applique. He folded up his blanket with the Jolly Roger crest and stashed it with the knitted scarves, the mittens, and the rest. Uh-oh. That night, Nettie heard a mighty splash, a chill race down his back. The captain yelled, all hands on deck, prepare for an attack. And just as Ned had feared, it was the briny ocean beast who loved to snack on pirate ships, his favorite floating feast. His tentacles were thick with slime, his eyes a ghastly yellow, and cannonballs bounced off his side as if his skin was jello. The hungry beast ripped through the sail and gobbled down a chunk while Ned raced back to quarters and dragged up his knitting trunk. The captain called, Avast! This be no time for knitting, Ned! But Ned rolled out the catapult. I've got a plan, he said. Ned's blanket soared into the air and landed with a slap. The beast was oh so cozy. He could not resist a nap. He yawned a great big yawn and swam back down his den. Another hundred years would pass before he'd wake again. The pirates danced aboard the ship and sang, Yo-ho! Hooray! Three cheers for Ned, the knitting pirate hero of the day. And how'd the pirates fix the sail? <laughs> Knit one pearl to repeat. 
the pirates knitted together till the new sail was complete. The crew aboard the rusty heap went on about their duties while wearing fuzzy hats and scarves and knitted pirate booties. But they were still a rugged lot as fierce as they were strong. And every time they swabbed the deck, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates, we're pirates sailing on the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we ho, we swab and we knit. So thank you. That was the knitting. That was Ned the Knitting Pirate by Diana Murray. Those illustrations were by Leslie Lamel.